often when we play songs we come across notes which fall in the lower octave or the higher octaves we have this question where to play the lower octave and higher octave notes remember that when we are talking about octaves there's a root suppose this is a c major scale and this is the root for me when i'm playing the c major scale starting on the third string fifth fret i play sa re ga ma pa tha ni sa the sa re ga pa tha ni sa as given by shangra varnam raga major scale when we are talking about octaves don't get stuck with the fret numbers or just thinking that anything below the fifth fret is a lower octave it doesn't work like that we have to see exactly which note is being used remember there is more than one place where we can play the same note on the guitar just by changing the fret number third string fifth fret is same as second string 5 minus 4 second string 1 third string fifth fret is same as fourth string 5 plus 5 Fourth string ten. So all of them are the same C note. So anywhere if you play a fret below that particular note, naturally on the same string, then you are playing a note below the regular octave in which we are playing. So if this is a sa, and if I play so ni three, ni two, tha two, tha one, and pa, they are all lower octave notes. I can start the same here. This sa is again the root. The C. Is again the root. In this case, we are considering C as a sa. Therefore, anything below that C, ni three, ni two, tha two, tha one, pa, they are all lower octave as far as this main octave is concerned. And see, this is the higher octave sa. I played sa re ga ma pa tha ni sa C D E F G A B C. So I started from the C, ending on another C. So the first one is a root. The other one is an octave. Exactly twice the frequency in hertz. But I can play the same octave like. Starting on the second string also. So the second string first fret being same as the third string fifth fret. Any lower number fret on the second string it belongs to the lower octave. In this case we have only one second string open that is the lower octave ni three. Similarly for the higher octave if we know that higher octave sa anything above that on the first string is a re one re two re three ga three ma one ma two etc. First string eighth fret can also be played on the second string. Eight plus five, thirteen fret. So if that is also higher octave, sir. Higher octave C when you play the octave of the major scale like that. One octave of major scale like that. If this is sir, we have re one, re two, re three, ma, ga three, ma one, ma two, and so on. There also you can play the same thing. So don't get stuck with the idea that anything below the fifth fret may be a, a lower octave. It is not on that particular string. We have to know where is the root. If if D major scale is what you are playing, then anything below this D note is a lower octave. D, C sharp. That is, if this is sharp, then it will be knee three, knee two, knee one. But since this third string seventh fret D can also be played on the second string seven minus four, that is second string third fret. This be, this is also a root. Sa and anything below that here on the second string are also on the lower octave. Sa knee three, knee two, dha two. Or even whichever way you want to call it. So remember this: you have an octave somewhere of some scale. The ending one is an octave. The beginning one was a root. And any note below this particular note, this says is an A. You can play that A here also. So it's not about the string or the fret. You can find a note below this particular A anywhere on any string. Then they are all on the lower octave. If you find the Any a note higher than this particular A on any string, they are all higher octave notes. Let us take some example. Suppose it's written Sa, lower octave Ni, lower octave Pa, something with the. That's one way of doing it. Sa Ni three Sa lower octave Pa. Um, how to know if it is lower octave or not? That you will have to look at the particular website. Some websites put a, a N with an apostrophe or a N with a. Full stop at the bottom. Usually, the legend will show you that it means that they want you to play the lower octave ni or the lower octave tha. So naturally, you have to fix a sa, and then a lower octave meaning if c is a sa, then this will be ni three, and the third string open will give you the pa. So you can play something like that. Then higher octave. Let us say if I want to play. Three gana na da ma pa da sa sa. We are already on the higher octave sa. Again, I am playing the first string eight fret C as a higher octave sa. Then, if I want to play re one on the higher octave, the note immediately after the higher octave sa is going to be the higher octave re one. 
this will be the higher octave guy if i want to play again first string 8th fret is has the same note as second string 13 first string 8 is equal to second string 8 plus 5 second string 13 and you can start from there also if this is the sa the immediate next fret is going to be the re1 higher octave this is going to be the ga3 just have to count and see re1 re2 re3 and ga3 and so on and this for example this one where i'm playing 5 4 5 can also be played here on the fourth string 10 9 10 5 right and it's this is again sa ni sa pa lower octave ni and pa sa ni 3 sa lower octave pa where the sa is the c i can of course transfer it let us say we can take something where we are starting with the e note let us say that is what we have sa the root is here on the third string ninth fret the same as second string fifth fret higher octave e is on the first string 12th fret third string 9th fret is same as second string 9 minus 4 which is second string 5 so again the same huh? so here or here it's a root higher octave here here on the first string 12th fret which is same as the second string 12 plus 5 second string 17th fret if you want to play sa ni sa pa where the ni and pa are on the lower octave ni 3 and pa then i can start here and play sa ni 3 ni 2 dha 2 dha 1 pa so i can play one possibility and the same thing on the third or the second strings so just remember you can fix the sa to begin with and any note below that particular sa is going to be on the lower octave you can count ni 1 ni 2 ni 3 etc try and find them it is not just about which fret it is it's also about the string fret meaning you have to look for the same note if your sa is a You have to look for the A, the same frequency A, third string second fret, fourth string two plus five, which is fourth string seventh fret, or fifth string seven plus five, twelve. Or any of them are the same note, and anywhere on the same string, if you play on the lower frets, ni they are going to be the lower octave notes of that particular octave. So ni three, ni two, tha two, tha one, pa, and so on. Same way. higher octave also if first string fifth fret is a sa higher octave a note then re1 re2 re3 are higher octave ga3 ma1 ma2 pa first string fifth fret is same as second string 10th fret here also you can find the same higher octave re1 re2 re3 etc so it's based on where which note we have decided as the sa sa can be anything and then there is sariga patanisa the the last sa is one octave higher than the sa which we started with any note before the first root sa is going to be on the lower octave any note higher than the second sa the higher octave sa is going to be the higher octave re1 d2 re3 etc remember then actually we can play the same note on the guitar in more than one place